Okay, let's talk about factoring polynomials. This is a critical skill to be successful in algebra. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and factor this problem right here. This happens to be called a quadratic trinomial or maybe a trinomial, but what we wanna do is factor this. But uh, really the bigger point I'm gonna be making uh, in this video is when you're facing a factoring problem in algebra, you always want to try to do this first. So what do you think I'm going to be telling you in this video? If you think you could figure that out, put that into the comment section. But uh, we're going to go ahead and actually factor this. But I'm curious, can you factor this quadratic trinomial? If you think you can, pause the video, put your answer into the comment section. But I'm going to show you exactly how to factor this. But we need to do something first to do this problem um, really effectively. Okay, so anyways, I'm going to get into all this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I've come to the conclusion that all students can be successful in mathematics, but it requires two things. One, the student is going to be willing to put in the work. So if you're struggling in math, you got to be willing to uh, take notes, do all your homework, et cetera, et cetera. But the second thing you need is great math instruction. So um, I'm talking about clear, easy to understand um, math instruction. So that's where I can help you out. If you're at the middle school, high school, or college level and struggling in mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave uh, links to all my uh, help in the description of this video. By the way, if you happen to be preparing for a test like the GED, SAT, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam, anything with a math section on it, I can help you out. If you homeschool, I can definitely help you out. I have middle school and high school full math courses. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video as well. Okay, so let's get into factoring this polynomial. And uh, polynomials is a big topic in algebra. This particular type of trinomial is, or this polynomial is a trinomial and this is a quadratic trinomial. So uh, you might be studying how to factor quadratic trinomials. So if you're not quite sure what this is called, that's what this is called. So let's get right to it and talk about what you want to always do first when you're facing any factoring situation, not just a quadratic trinomial. So what do you want to do first? Well, you always, always want to try to factor out the greatest common factor. Okay, so you just don't want to uh, look at this problem and say, okay, I'm going to factor this, so it's something times something else. Uh, and hopefully you know how to um, uh, do some basic trinomial factoring. Okay, so basically this right here, the answer is going to be something times something else, two binomials. But here's the deal, okay? When you look at a problem, the first thing you always want to do is ask, can I factor out a greatest common factor? In this uh, case, you can. Okay, so I'm kind of giving you a hint here. Now, if you're saying, oh, okay, I understand. Well, then I'm giving you, uh, give, I'm going to give you an opportunity to actually do this problem. Go ahead and factor out the GCF, and then the remaining trinomial, go ahead and factor that. So what you're going to end up with is the GCF, times these two binomials, okay? So you're going to have three factors, this times this times this. So if you kind of understand what I'm um, getting at, go ahead and pause the video and see where you're at in your um, factoring skills. By the way, if you're struggling in factoring, I would uh, strongly suggest checking out any one of my algebra uh, courses like Algebra 1 or beyond. Of course, I have a ton of other videos on factoring on my YouTube channel as well, but I really get heavy duty into my courses about factoring. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem. So what is the GCF? Well, the GCF happens to be four. Okay, so I can factor out a four uh, with all uh, these terms here, right? So you can kind of, you know, hopefully most of you saw that. I'm like, okay, four, four, four. I factor out a four because if I use the distributive property back in like this, I'm going to get back to my original problem. So always factor out the GCF. Just don't start looking at this problem and try to like factor right off the bat, thinking, okay, I gotta have one binomial times another binomial. No, always, always factor out the GCF. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. Okay, so here I have four, which is the greatest common factor, times this trinomial. Now this trinomial here is much easier to factor. Uh, I call these uh, case one trinomials because there is a one in front of this coefficient here. And if you know how to factor 
uh, basic trinomials, then you should know that the uh, answer is x minus 3 times x plus 2. Now, if uh, you are confused why this is equal to these two factors right here, well, you need to work on your trinomial skills, okay? How to factor quadratic trinomials and you know, this is uh, this video, I don't want to make it too long uh, to try to review this. I do have additional YouTube videos on this. And of course, I teach this very thoroughly in like my algebra courses as well. All right, so here, uh, when you factor this trinomial, this is going to be x minus 3 times x plus 2. You can't forget your uh, GCF as well, which is 4. So the final answer would be this. Okay, so if you're able to factor this and you actually factor out the uh, GCF as well, then I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face, an A plus 100%. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you some stars to make you feel extra special. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at those of you that might have factored the problem this way. Okay, so let's say you, were, you weren't thinking about the GCF. You were saying, all right, this is a 4x squared. I could put a 2x there, maybe a 2x there. Another option you could have done is put a 4x here and an x here. Now, uh, this is kind of called a guess and check method. It's a, uh, a particular factoring technique used for trinomials. There's another technique that uh, um, I actually like uh, a little bit better than this technique. But anyways, when it comes to this factor, your front terms are either going, uh, either going to be a 2x and 2x or a 4x and an x. Okay, so we're trying to figure out what works here. So let's suppose you factor this this way, okay, this times this. This is the correct factors for this problem. However, this, okay, these two binomials, this is not fully factored, okay? We're not fully factored here. You can see you have a GCF in these uh, binomials, okay? So you need to go ahead and... In this case, uh, factor out a 2, so this would be 2 times x minus 3. Then I could factor out a 2 right here, that would be x plus 2. Okay, so this is going to be 2 times 2, which of course is 4 times x minus 3 times x plus 2. Okay, that's our final answer, and of course, that's what we have right here. Okay, so again, instead of uh, going this route, this is much more um, difficult to do. Uh, you always want to take out that greatest common factor first and then go from there. So that was the whole point to this um, uh, little video, factor out the GCF. But I'm going to tell you right now, factoring is uh, probably one of the number one things that really causes algebra students to struggle Okay, in their entirety of algebra. As you continue to learn all these different chapters in algebra, you're going to have to... Uh, be applying uh, factoring, your factoring skills all the time, okay? It comes up over and over and over again. So and then whenever you start learning factoring and you're like, oh, okay, uh, I'm not that good at it, but maybe, you know, the next uh, sections of chapters, I won't have to deal with this again. Well, actually, you're going to have to deal with factoring all the time. So get really good at it. You could definitely do it. But if this little video helped you out, go ahead and consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe even subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus math videos on my channel from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. So if uh, you like my teaching style, please take advantage of my content. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.